Hi viewer, I welcome you to Rim TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through business studies from one, the topic, the lesson number twelve. The topic it is production. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mupen. Welcome. Let us look at the lesson objectives. Um, today we are going to look at the definition the, of the production. Then give the different types of utilities so by the end of the lesson the learner should be able to explain the meaning of production and number two explain the four types of utility welcome production now when we talk about the production it refers to the creation of goods and services or increasing the usefulness of existing goods and services now when we talk about the the production or creation of goods let's take that um i want or a farmer who is in the farm has produced the tulips that is the 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 the, the production of that or creation of the goods but when that tea gets to the factory, you get there is that processing until you get the tea leaves. The one that you are, you, are, you are supposed to use for making tea. So when we are talking about that, that is a finished commodity, but it has, it has passed through a number of processes. It get to the factory when it was a raw material. But processing it, still it is production until I get to the finished good. So that production, starting from the farm all the way to the last commodity that a consumer consumes, it result to different utilities. That is the reason as to why we are looking at the types of utilities. When we talk about the different types of utility, utility means usefulness or ability to satisfy a human want. Usefulness, that ability of a commodity to satisfy the human want. Types of utility. One, we are form utility, time utility, place utility, and possessive utility. And you have to look at each at a time. We start by looking at the form utility. Now, when I talk about the form utility, it's changing the form of a commodity by converting the raw materials into finished goods. For example, when we talk about the wheat, convert into wheat flour. That is our form. When I talk about the 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 flour, I've cooked, and then I have, it is ready for the consumption. That is also form. I've changed the form from fra into a finished commodity that you can eat. That is form. You're converting, changing it from where it was. Now you're making it the finished form. Then we have time utility. This is created when a good is stored until its appropriate time for use. For example, those goods that are in private warehouses possesses this utility. You can be able to see those goods are in warehouse. They are waiting until the right time for them to be taken out of the private warehouse and then go to the, the ones who are dealing with them, the ones who are consuming. When you go to the wholesaler, he keeps some goods in store in order for them to wait until the time when they are, they are next into the counter for the consumer to go, to go and consume them. That is time utility. You are preserving until, or you are storing until its time comes. Then we have praise utility. This is bridging the geographical gap between the producer of a commodity and a consumer through transportation. 
For example, when I talk about the fertilizer, fertilizer, most of the fertilizers are not made in Kenya. So they have to be transported through the, through the water, that is by use of the ships, to the coast. Then from the port, they use the rope, that is by use of the tractors of the containers, until they get to the right consumer who is in the farm, uh, who is doing agriculture in the farm. Also, when transporting foodstuffs to the school for use, that is press utility, from the farm where they have been produced, then you are taking them to the schools where they are going to be consumed. They have moved from one place to another. Place of production to where they are supposed to be consumed. For example, when we talk about the bread, Bread is made in an industry, in a factory. And that bread is supposed to be used by a consumer who is not within that factory, who needs to get that bread the next day. So that is price utility. Then there is the possessive utility. This refers to the transfer of ownership of goods and services from one person to the other through trade. For example, when you go to the sh shop, you get the shopkeeper, you want milk, he will give it to you in exchange of money. That is, the milk now becomes yours, then the shopkeeper gets the money. So in that case, now you get the possess possession as changed. Have now want the milk. Milk initially it was for the uh, shopkeeper. So that is about the possessive utility. That marks the end of our lesson. Activity explains four forms of utility. For reference, you can visit KRB. 2011, Inventor Secondary Business Student Book 1, that edition. If at all you have any question, inquiry, any addition notes, you can get us through the SMS. You can also visit the YouTube. You can also drop your message in the Facebook. You can also uh, get us through the Twitter. Stay tuned to your LinkedIn.